fish on, fish on, fish on. Yes, come on, I think that's a little bigger than the last one too. Well, to think we have hiked all that way and we have just caught a fish. Cool, blimey, I am so pleased about that. Now then, and thanks for joining me on another mountain fishing adventure. I cannot wait for today. The place I'm heading up to is tiny. It's a really small little lake tucked away on the side of a big old mountain. And hopefully I'm gonna catch some fish up there. And while we have only just started this walk up, just look how beautiful this place is. It's in the middle of a forest. I've got some lovely lakes behind me too that the view's gonna open up to nicely on our way up. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna focus on making a bit of ground, getting up here, not gonna be easy oh it's just step after step such a harsh gradient pretty much all the way up that's the path we've just come up and that's the way we go for quite some time well we are out of the woods and look at this view i was telling you about oh words just can't do it justice that is simply Incredible. Tell you what though, my bag is outrageously heavy with filming stuff, hiking stuff, drones, food, clothes, about three litres of water. It's really putting a strain on the old back. This terrain is starting to flatten off a bit, so hopefully that's the hard part of the walk done. Just look at that view emerging over there. Wow. What a lovely walk this has been. And look at that waterfall we've got over there as well. That is just beautiful. Well, there's not much out there that beats the sound of a mountain stream as the just running right the way next to this footpath. So just over that little ridge there is where the lake is. But look at all this heather, so pink. And here it is, this tiny little mountain lake. And I've just seen a fish rise. Oh God, blimey, I'm excited about this. So the setup I'm using today is the Rigged and Ready X5 Adventure. Now this is an extra, extra compact travel rod with five different fishing options. You can either spin with it at a few different cast weights, you can bait fish with it, or you can even fly fish with it. So we're gonna be showing you just how that works now. This is actually a really unique bit of kit because you can just take one rod with you and you've got so many different options. But inside here you have a fly reel, which I've already loaded myself and a spinning reel. So just like any other multi-piece rod, you simply just push the sections together. A couple of them are screw sections like this one. And then the other sections you simply slide in. And what makes this unique is into this end section, you have all these different tips. So I'm going to be using the lightest tip today because I'm going to be using some tiny little spoons. There you go. One travel spinning rod. And to make this a fly rod, all you do is you take this end section out swap it for the fly tip, which I'll show you now. And then you unscrew this. You take this out. That goes in this end here, screws in. And then you just put your fly reel in there. And that is that, a travel spin rod to a travel fly rod in no time at all. Right, just about to have my first cast. Can't wait to get started. Oh, that was a bit wayward, wasn't it? Gonna have to have a few to get my eye in, I think. But yeah, my plan today is I'm just gonna spin, use some spoons and stuff. Hopefully try catch, oh, oh, I had a bite then. Try catch a few fish, I was just gonna say. And then swap over to the fly setup because I'd love to catch my first ever fly caught trout in the mountains. Fish 
fish on. There we go. We've got one on. Hope it doesn't come off. I am on barbless hooks. Doesn't feel like a big one. Come on, stay on, please stay on. Took that far out as well. Really far out. Just taking my time with this because I really don't want to lose this fish. Come on. Yes, and we've got it in the net. Come on. Well, it might not seem like much to you specimen anglers out there, but that is exactly what I came here for. An absolutely perfect, pristinely marked little mountain trout. I just absolutely love catching these. Off you go. Well, to think we have hiked all that way and we have just caught a fish called Blimey. I am so pleased about that. That has just put a big smile on my face. If you're appreciating how much effort I've gone to bring you this top class entertainment, mountain fishing, all the effort, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Well, what a great result that is. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can find a bigger one. The well, last time I was here, I was actually with my girlfriend as well. And after the fishing trip, we hiked up that peak there, which did take quite a long time, longer than it looked. But there was a beautiful sunset and some of the views up there, I'll just show you them now. Oh, I, had a, I nearly had a bite then. Yeah, I'll just show you some of those views now because they were incredible. You could really see the scale of this tiny little lake as well. I know it doesn't look like much of a a tiny lake from the GoPro angle. It's actually a tarn, but I'm not sure everybody knows what a tarn is. I suppose it's more of a pond than a lake anyway. Just having a wander around this lake now and it is absolutely stunning. This doesn't get any better than this, does it? So these are the spoons I've been using today. I've got hundreds of these in all different colors and sizes. They've got single hooks and treble hooks. You can decide, but they're all completely barbless. Tell you nothing makes you feel quite as alive as fishing in the mountains. But are we gonna catch another? I think we are. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Yes, come on. I think that's a little bigger than the last one too. Get in, please don't come off. I think that's the same fish. I've had a couple little nibbles off. And he's in the net, come on. Yes, get in. Remember if you're about to hold a trout, always wet your hand first. They are very delicate. Where are you? There you go. What a beautiful little fish that is. It's sort of got a dark green color to it. Absolutely magnificent. Off you go. gonna make his way back home now. There he goes. So you might be wondering why I'm celebrating so hard catching such small fish. Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. One being the fish don't actually get that big in mountain tarns and that's because there's not much natural food for them. And two, I don't particularly mind the size of fish I'm catching in general, let alone a place like this. It is just magnificent. There's some really nice long grass and vegetation and stuff here, so it's definitely well worth a few casts around here. As you can see, the rest of this lake is sort of largely featureless, isn't it? Got a bit of a tangle to deal with too now. 
Oh well, as you can see, we've got some really bad weather coming in and I've just got a bird's nest on my spinning reel. So instead of giving up, I'm going to keep going, but I am going to make the swap over to the fly rod now, even though I was getting knocks on that little spoon still. So yeah, I don't know if we'll get one today on the fly setup. I'm not very good at fly fishing at all, but we'll see. Right, let's try and get this swap done before we get too wet, I think. Just swapping the handle around first and then I'll be changing the tip and then we'll be ready to go. Just find the fly fishing tip, which is this one. And then a spinning rod has become a fly rod in no time at all. This really is like the multi-tool of fishing rods. And the sun has randomly decided to make an appearance just as I'm setting this fly rod up and look at all these rises around the lake. I've got to get something, surely. I'm using a very short leader because I feel it's a lot easier to control for a beginner. So the problem I've got is the banks are quite high behind me, so it's very hard to get a good fly cast off. So I'm just heading over there to the end. I can see plenty of rises and hopefully there's going to be a lot more room for me to cast. Oh, I've got to follow. Go on. Oh, nearly. Oh, no. I had a proper follow then and it turned away from it at the last minute. Come on. Well, follow again. Go on, hit it. Oh, I paused and it turned away. There's another one. Go on. Oh, this is so frustrating. Feast your eyes on this. What an astonishing view. I've got a long walk back to the car now and then a long drive home. As always, thank you very much for watching. It's a bit of a shame we couldn't catch a fish on the fly at the end. I was close, but I think I'm just a little too rusty. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Until the next mountain adventure, I'll catch you down the road.